Well, you know, I devote a whole chapter of my book to the Mediterranean diet, which um, the the whole concept of it was also invented by Ansel Keys. Um, And it really was, he wrote a book called Living Well, The Mediterranean Way. And, um, but, and he, even in that book, he acknowledged there really is no definition of the Mediterranean diet, the way they eat around the Mediterranean, all the countries, they eat differently in France, then they do in Italy, then they do in um, uh, Israel. So, so there really is no, there's never been a definition of the Mediterranean diet. It is now um, and that the promotion of it into a kind of Mediterranean diet with a capital D, like a concept that a doctor will tell you, was something that was invented by the olive oil industry, um, the European olive oil industry seeking to increase sales in America. And then they held a series of the best ever conferences all over the Mediterranean and invited scientists and food writers and chefs and and uh and that was from that the mediterranean diet was born and then there's a couple pretty dodgy studies that show what do they show do they show anything for the mediterranean diet what they show they they there's two of them in one of them in both of them they compared it to the failed low fat diet what they show is that if you increase your fat <laughs> maybe it's olive oil or maybe any kind of fat you will show better health outcomes. So, you know, it's very likely that a high butter Swedish diet compared to the low fat diet would also look better or, or a diet in Mongolia would look better than the low failed low fat diet. But it's just that everybody wanted to go vacation in the Mediterranean. So that's why we have the Mediterranean diet and we don't have the Siberian diet. 